And imagine this, a man runs up on you and he wants to fight, but his knuckles look like this. What are you doing? Because I'll tell you this, I'm running the opposite direction. Anyone that has knuckles that look like these is someone who practices iron fist training. This training originates hundreds of years ago in China, where martial artists would strike every part of their hand thousands of times on things like rocks, walls, and ropes. This would result in an increase in bone density and toughening of the skin, which would create hands that are strong enough to destroy actual blocks of concrete. Now I have some paper hands that not only stand zero chance of breaking a brick, but have also costed me thousands of dollars in the stock market from panic selling. And they're about to cost me about another $2,000 if I don't do something soon. So iron fist training is exactly what I need. Every single day for this next week, my cameraman will randomly select one iron fist exercise that I must perform for that day. And I will have to do 100 reps of that exercise for each hand. And by the end of the week, we'll see exactly how this training has affected my hands and if they turn them into iron. Or maybe they'll just level up to wood. Honestly, anything stronger than paper would be awesome. Day one of Iron Fish training. My portfolio is dropping very rapidly. We gotta train these hands so I don't sell. What is the first one that we're doing today, Derek? So the first exercise here is just punching a bucket of sand over and over. So I guess you're gonna do okay. it 100 times. And then hopefully that'll prepare you for the next challenges. I think I can do this. This doesn't look too bad. First thing I need to do is get a bucket of sand in the first place. And luckily we live right next to a beach. As you can see, this is the dangerous route towards the beach. We are doing iron fish training, so uh, gotta do this the most dangerous way possible. I made my way down the toughest trail you can possibly take to get to the beach. Slow and steady, slow and steady. <laughs> Once I finally made it to the bottom, I looked for some soft sand and filled up my bucket. That right there is gonna be solid. But before I start punching, here are what my hands look like on day zero. I watched the video and he said to punch vertically and firmly. We're gonna do this a hundred times on each hand. I lost count, hold on. <laughs> Wait. One, one. The main purpose behind this specific exercise is to toughen the skin on the knuckles. And I'm not gonna lie, this did sting quite a bit. You can already see the redness on my hands from just 10 reps on both. But the sand was so damp and cold that my hands went numb after 50 reps each. So completing the rest of the reps was no problem. Three, two, one. Ah, my hands are dead. There we go, there we go, that's all I needed. Nice and red. Before leaving, Derek told me to grab a big smooth rock because I'd need it for another day of training. How, how big is the rock supposed to be? Big enough for you to punch, man. I was slightly concerned, but I don't really have a choice here. So I picked the smoothest one I could find and I took it home with me. My knuckles aren't doing too bad here. I don't think 100 reps is enough. Uh, to actually do some damage in one day. For day two, I received a text from Derek with a link to a video saying I have to do 100 punches to a wooden pole wrapped with rope. Oh my god. Yo, this guy's punching that thing hard too. It's gonna destroy my hands. I didn't have anything at home that resembled a rope with wood, but I remembered the old karate dojo that I used to train at had one, so I made my way over there and met up with my old sensei named David. Now we are in a karate dojo after all, and I was feeling a little underdressed, so I decided to change. Not too shabby. <laughs> 10 year old Brandon was wearing this uniform, which surprisingly, like, it kind of fits. The pants, I guess my legs didn't grow that much. You wanna keep your wrist real straight. You don't wanna let it, let it bend. That's where you're gonna hurt yourself if you let that wrist bend. And then just twist into it. All right, wrist straight. Oh, <laughs> I'm already feeling it, dude. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> this was 20 times more painful than punching sand. The rope was surprisingly sharp, and it felt like I was punching barbed wire. After doing about 50 punches on both hands, the skin on my knuckles were starting to get used to the pain, and I was ready to go ham for the final 50. Yeah, my knuckles are absolutely dead right now. 100 reps on the rope board. All right, it's day three. Time for another session of Iron Fish training. My knuckles are definitely in bad shape right now. So for today's challenge, you're gonna be doing 50 push-ups on your knuckles and then 50 push-ups on your wrists. Ooh, okay, we're getting back to some calisthenics here. I like it. One, two, all three, all four, all five. Oh, six. Yo. <laughs> oh, I'm already feeling it at six. If the message wasn't clear enough yet from watching all the other stuff that I was doing, don't try this at home because you will hurt your hands, okay? I'm a trained professional. <laughs> this was the first exercise that would actually increase the density of my bones and not just toughen up my skin. And these push-ups turned out to be by far the most painful iron fist exercise I had done yet. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a little bit better. It's still very painful. The iron fish training that I did yesterday where I was punching the rope definitely made the skin much more sensitive, so it's very tough to be doing these knuckle push-ups. After 50 knuckle push-ups on concrete, my hands were looking pretty rough, and they hurt quite a bit, but I pushed through and finished the remaining wrist push-ups. That's a wrap, baby. This water is nice and cold. This feels so good. For all the wrist push-ups, you can see the marks. My knuckles are just super red and they're starting to feel pretty tender. All right, it's day four. You know, I am surprised. My knuckles aren't doing as bad as I thought they were gonna be today. You know, I'm already starting to feel the power of iron fish training. My fists feel like they're a little bit more dense than they were before. I'm gonna test it out really quick. Now I received an Amazon package and typically I'd use a knife to open this up. Looks like it worked really well. So clearly my fists are getting more dense. Maybe I should test it another way. No, yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right. Derek texted me my training earlier that day, and this time I had to punch a sandbag a hundred times on each hand. I have to make the sandbag myself though, so I went over to the beach to acquire the sand needed and headed back home. To make the sandbag, I simply laid down my shirt, poured some sand in the middle of it, and wrapped it into a ball for me to punch. Wow. Wow. That actually kind of hurts, ooh. The pain from the sandbag was bearable, but the harder you hit it, the denser the sand becomes and the more it hurts. <sighs> wow, homemade sandbag, this is no joke, man. Instead of constantly pausing, I decided to push myself and get all of my reps done at once. 100, it's just vibrating and it stings. It is day five of iron fish training. My hands are definitely starting to feel very sore. And then the first part of my fingers and the knuckles are just red and tender. Yeah, this is definitely not the most comfortable thing to be doing this entire week. So I'm gonna numb the pain from this by drinking some of my favorite protein here. Mmm, damn. Oh my. Transparent Labs is my sponsor, but there's a reason why I selected them is because their protein is actually freaking incredible. It's just such an easy way to get your protein in. You just put some powder in some water, mix it up, and then you drink it, and it tastes phenomenal too. So I highly recommend you get some Transparent Labs. I'm gonna have them linked down below in the description. You can also use my code Brandon to get 10% off your order. Derek texted me the training for day five, and it looked pretty simple. All I had to do was punch a wooden board 100 times on my knuckles. So I set down a wooden board and got to punching, and it was going pretty smooth my hands felt like they were getting tougher but that was up until this happened oh it actually broke my skin i can't show it close up on camera nor talk too much in detail about this so i don't get demonetized it doesn't really hurt that bad it seems pretty minor so we're gonna finish up our reps here all right brandon so remember the rock you got from the beach on day one yeah so it's time to punch that rock a hundred times. Oh my <laughs> god, no way. He's first starting with some karate chops, so just okay. to get the side of the hand. And then he's going for a couple of punches here on the side. I would say this is one of the most serious ones that we have so far, because he's literally training every part of his hand. His knuckles, his wrist, his fingertips too. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt. <sighs> okay. I'm glad I decided to carry this rock about a mile out here right in an area that has hundreds of them right behind me that I could have used the same exact way. Anyway, now it's time to do uh, some more iron fish training. This one is gonna be interesting. I watched the video over and over to get a feel for his technique, exactly how he's doing it. So for all the 100 reps, I'm just gonna go through the mixture of the karate chops, punches, and then the fingertips. All right, let's go. One, two, three, three, four, four, Five, oh, five, oh, six. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Although it was painful, something about being outside in the middle of nowhere, punching a rock was quite peaceful. I felt like I entered a meditative state. You know, maybe I should dedicate the rest of my life to iron fish training. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. <sighs> Oh, my hands, bro. Okay. It is day seven, the final day of Iron Fist training. I got a text from Derek saying, you were punching just one rock on day six. How about a hundred little rocks instead? So I went over to Home Depot, bought some small rocks, and filled a bucket with them at home. My hands are in pretty rough shape. They're very sore and tender, but... They are getting stronger, they feel stronger, and I've also held this entire week onto my trading position. And I'm happy to inform you all that I'm officially up $460 today. And all I had to do that was just hold and do some iron fish training. Now besides that, my hands actually are in a lot of pain, so I'm happy that this is the final training that we're doing. I just wanna get this over with, let's do it. 100 reps, both hands. Three, two, one. 
Oh, bro. <laughs> I thought they would move a little bit more, but no, it stuck into its place. It did not move at all. My fingertips are throbbing already from just one rep. I knew if I was going to get all 100 reps in, I had to focus. So I closed my Jeez. eyes, took some deep breaths, and just kept striking without stopping. Hold it for life. We got diamond hands. We ain't selling anytime soon. 100, 100. Oh. Oh my god. Ow. Basically, my fingertips are just throbbing right now. There's definitely a noticeable difference from my hands on day zero to day seven. They're pretty much just scratched up red and swollen now at the end of it. So was doing iron fish training for a full week worth it? I'd say absolutely. It saved me $2,000, in fact, made me 400, and it toughened up my hands. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.